day two of Judge Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings proved to be a marathon session for 13 hours. Judge Kavanaugh was grilled by our colleagues on the Judiciary Committee. Through that testing, the Senate got to see exactly why the American Bar Association deemed this nominee to be unanimously well qualified. That's the highest possible rating. A distinction many of our Democrat colleagues in the past have called the gold standard. We saw precisely why he's earned such praise from accomplished legal figures, like Lisa Blatt, a self-described liberal and leading Supreme Court litigator who proudly introduced Judge Kavanaugh before the committee, and Neil Katyal, the Obama administration's solicitor general, who said, quote, it's very hard for anyone who's worked with Judge Kavanaugh appeared before him to frankly say a bad word about him. Judge Kavanaugh was patient and professional. His answers showed total command of everything from the fine details of case law to the principles upon which our founders built the Constitution. Back in July, one of Judge Kavanaugh's former Yale Law School professors explained that he is, quote, an avid consumer of legal scholarship. He reads and learns. Well, it certainly shows, and Judge Kavanaugh's widely, widely acclaimed temperament was on full display. He gave thoughtful, expansive answers while also respecting the independence of the judiciary. Even as some of our Democratic colleagues seem to forget, seem to forget that we're examining a potential Supreme Court justice and not interviewing a super legislator who will be writing his own policy preferences into law. Judge Kavanaugh remained gracious and spoke at length about his past jurisprudence and his understanding of the role judges play in our republic. It was striking to contrast Judge Kavanaugh's poise on the one hand and professionalism with the continued unhinged, literally unhinged antics of the far left, which once again resorted to yelling and screaming and interrupting the hearing with nonsensical protests. The Capitol Police deserve all of our gratitude for keeping order, as does Chairman Grassley for keeping the proceedings moving smoothly. Perhaps, perhaps, Madam President, it's finally dawning on the far left that Judge Kavanaugh is an impressive mainstream and brilliant nominee who almost <coughs> any objective observer would agree is more than qualified to serve on the Supreme Court. Maybe that's why they're resorting to futile attempts to disrupt the proceedings. Maybe that's why no fewer than 66 individuals were removed from the hearings room for interruptions. Well, I'll be uh, perfectly clear about this. Hysterical stunts are not going to stop the United States Senate from completing its business. There is no heckler's veto here. I look forward to more excellent testimony from Judge Kavanaugh today. <laughs>